Malaysian police says these two men are suspects in the murder of Fadi al Bach, a Palestinian academic killed on Saturday in Kuala Lumpur. The pictures are based on witness descriptions. The sketch shows two light-skinned suspects who are European or Middle Eastern with beards. Both men are about 180 centimeters with sturdy builds. We seek assistance from our counterparts from the immigration department. The murder victim was on his way to morning prayers on Saturday when two men on a motorcycle fired at least 14 shots. He died at the scene. Malaysia's deputy prime minister suspects Batch, an engineering lecturer, was the target of an international operation. He was an expert in rocket building and it's possible that his death had links with a foreign intelligence organization. The Palestinian party Hamas says Fadi al Batch was a member of its political organization. It accuses Israel's spy agency Mossad of being behind his murder and says his killing is in retaliation for the recent Gaza-Israel border protests. The side behind this issue will pay the price, definitely. We cannot give up on the blood of our sons, youths and scholars. I can say, based on previous assassinations and killings of Palestinian scholars and scholars of the Arab and Islamic nations, that Mossad is not away from this graceful, terrible crime. It's not the first time Israel has been accused of killing Palestinians abroad. The 2016 death of drone expert Mohammed Zouari in Tunisia was blamed on Mossad, as was the killing of Mahmoud El Mabhah in Dubai in 2010. Israel has dismissed allegations it was responsible for Saturday's killing. It's a denial Batch's parents refuse to believe. There are accusations only against the Israeli Mossad. On us, we accuse only the Israeli Mossad and the Malaysian government should accelerate the investigation. That investigation in Malaysia is only getting started. But as far as Hamas and the parents of Fadi al Bach are concerned, the blame lies with Israel. Nafisa Latic, TRT World.